What's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So, uh, today's video, uh, if, if you're new to this channel, right, so I know it's the channel's Don Fron Trading. Uh, trading is my main income, but this channel I want to be about what do I do after that. So, there is like, you know, I invest in, in stock. Well, you know, trading, obviously, I have my investing account, but then there's real estate and just anything else, the all asset classes, anything I'm doing with money because. You, the money doesn't just stop once you make it. You have to find ways to turn that into something else once you do get it. Or you just, you know, spend it all on crap and, well, it goes nowhere. So that's what this video is about. And we have a few videos coming out. As the time I'm, At the time of me recording this, uh, we got a recession either already here or right around the corner. We got Powell saying, even Powell is saying, we need to reset things. We're pricing way too many people out of things. Uh, we need to just curb the demand right now. Like, you, you know, a, a video for a whole, a whole other video for a whole other time. But prices wouldn't be as high as they are today if everybody just quit buying. But they got their little stimulus checks. They got their savings. Now they just they don't care. They'd rather pay the high prices and complain about it on Facebook like they're doing anything. If they really want to do something, everybody would just shut up and stop. They'd stay home for one day. Imagine what would happen if everybody across the United States didn't go anywhere. Not stay at home because of Rona rules or because you're going to get another check. Stay at home. Don't spend a dime. Uh, then we'd feel it. Uh, that you would effectively, I mean, you would instantly affect the, uh, the supply and demand right there. Anyway, as those videos come out, uh, I know options are a huge thing that I do, even in my investment account. Like as things are selling off, I'm still making money in my investment account. I, like regular invest, I, I don't know how they do it. Uh, so like, I sell weekly options on everything. Like I'm always still collecting money, which and then I then it's like creating my own dividend, right? So uh, anything you have a hundred shares of, I'm gonna give you like kind of the this isn't the basics of options i we've talked a lot about this on all my my other channel and i've got a ton of videos on it uh and i don't even want to press my course that much but yes i do have one and i'm just going to stress the importance of knowledge before you ever get into an asset class because uh, right now what if you weren't just watching your investments go down uh, what if you were selling contracts against them? What if you had cash on hand, still making free money without ever buying a single stock? These are things you guys should know how to do. I don't know how you are even in this market. One, still calling options a, a gamble and not touching them. Like, and all you got, let alone all you know how to do is click the buy button and watch that go down. Like, as we progress further, the, the cool thing about a market like this is you're going to see who actually makes money. Here's the signs to look out for. <laughs> what are you planning on going on to this rant? Uh, watch YouTubers that have never taken, they, they don't have any like um, sponsorships or anything like that. Watch those things come out of the woodwork. And they're going to be taking every dollar they can. Like, how can I get money? Because uh, it's certainly not from trading uh, or investing. Or, you know, I hate to use Meet Kevin, but man, he's like the panhandler of them all. He's got. He can't go 30 seconds without something. And it is like a sponsorship from someone, which congrats on having that many options. You know, but I call it a panhandler because it's just like, he's like, will someone give me some money? Uh, you know, he's got his course, his life insurance. He just one after another, every broker out there. Somebody please just sign up and you get something free, I promise. And I'll get my paycheck. Uh, I did not mean to hate on him that much, but. He, everyone knows, me, Kevin, just one of the biggest ones, so it's easy to use him as an example. Um, so watch out for that. But also, a lot of the YouTube gurus are probably just going to go get jobs and stop. So I'm kind of excited for this. I'm also a real estate agent. I love real estate crashes. Uh, well, haven't really seen a real estate crash because I got it after the 2008. But the cool thing about it is it dries up the people that are just not cut out for it. Um... Uh, so, kind of affects a whole bunch of things. Anyway, let's get back to, to options. Kind of the main main warning of this. Uh, someone in my, in my chat today, he's got a family member, just got approved for options on, on Weeble. <laughs> it's, it's like getting your driver's permit. You have no idea what you're doing. You've never driven a car. But you can. Now, in a driver's permit, there's somebody sitting right next to you saying, uh, hey, don't do that or, or do this and please, I don't want to die. Uh, which actually there can be a ton of analogies as far as this goes. Um, find a mentor, find someone out there that can teach you this stuff. Uh, like 
you're not going to do the options game without somebody in the passenger seat next to you. You're just not going to get into it. Uh, I can't stress the importance of that enough. And again, if you're going to find somebody else, because you know, there's everyone's got a course these days. Um, There's a lot of YouTube videos. There's a lot of just YouTube crap as well. Uh, You're going to hear what's called the Greeks. Don't brush over that. Uh, Someone's going to explain the Delta Greek to you. And if they say just one thing, hey, Delta is the rate at which the options contract will move per dollar of the underlying. If that's the only thing they say to you, they don't even understand options. Uh, they're they're not even scratching the surface. That is a snowflake on top of the iceberg. Like, that's nothing. That would be a red flag for me. I can automatically tell you if they're saying just that, don't listen to them. Uh, you want to find someone because there's, there's like 11 different ways, 11 different things that Delta alone tell you. Uh, so if they're not telling you at least two or three right off the top of their head, Find someone else. Um, so that being said, the biggest thing I see, now being in the position I have with the YouTube channel, I run a, well, my mentorships, my, my private chat, that's with the course and everything, but at this point, I've helped thousands. I've been doing this for years now. I've helped thousands of people. I see the same mistakes over and over again. So it kind of puts me in a different spot of just kind of looking down uh, at down and out. I get to see some common stuff. And I can tell you right now, this is what this uh, guy in my chat, his family member's doing. He's learning option strategies before he learns options. I'm telling you right now, that's the fastest way to blow your account. It's the one thing you should not do, period. Now, you can blow your account at any time you want, but go learn options first so you don't blow your account because it's almost certain, almost guaranteed. That statistic of 95% fail, man, you want to spike that thing up right to reality, go ahead and try some options without understanding the asset class at all. Like... Uh, that's literally searching how to how to build a roof, uh, you know, or like how do I build a house? And you have no idea what a two by four is. You're but you're looking at blueprints, how things go together. And you're like, yeah, this is cool. I don't even know what wood and nails are. I don't know what a drill is. I don't know anything. But I can figure this out. Okay, I build the wall first and then the roof. And you're gonna jump in and get destroyed. All right, or that's gonna jump into a car. You're not gonna know what the gas pedal is, the brakes. You're gonna hit the gas. You're gonna floor it. You're gonna magically put that thing in gear and send it into a tree. You know, if you just got your driver's permit and there's no one in the passenger seat, there's a lot of buttons, a lot of knobs. There's a lot of ways it can go bad. There are, first of all, plenty of ways that it can go good. Options, I can tell you now, you are hearing about them on Instagram with crazy gains. Or you're, you're hearing about just the horror stories on Reddit and they're blowing accounts. If you suck as a trader right now, you're going to suck a hundred times faster in options. Because imagine if you're struggling to buy one stock and have it go up, you're going to buy one contract and just lose all your money. Uh, there are people that get lucky. For instance, when I started out trading, now when I started out trading, it was a bull market. Uh, things kind of fell into place for me. So 2013 is when I started trading. But I traded dumb stuff like, um, you know, there's a long line at Starbucks. I better buy that. I bet that business is going to do good. <laughs> it's, not, it's not how stocks work. Uh, but that's what I was buying stuff. Here comes a new Apple iPhone. I better buy Apple. And, and the market was just forgiving. And I was able to make money but still look outside the box and, and look back and think, oh, that wouldn't have panned out in, in this market. You know, had I not had the market just holding my hand uh, at the time, uh, I wouldn't be here today. It'd be a lot harder, uh, for sure. Um, and and right now w- with options, it's something as as the market. First of all, as liquidity dries up, if we go into recession, if we enter what's like a lost decade where things just go sideways, yeah, there's ups and downs in, in all of it. It's not going to go flat. Uh, but you know, if we get into a market and all you know how to do is click the buy button because 2020 and 2021, that's your experience. Sorry, that's just not the market. We're out of that phase. Uh, we're getting into a new one. Uh, so the market won't be forgiving. You go out jumping into an asset class. You can tell me everything you know about an iron condor, uh, because you looked it all up. But if you don't know what Greeks are, you don't actually know what an iron condor is. You might be able to tell me, oh, it's a, it's a call, a buy and sell one. And then uh, I buy and sell a put, piece of cake. You'll still lose. You have no idea what you're looking at, how to place it. You'll literally know nothing. You'll hear some YouTuber talk about it. You might have even heard me talk about mine. Uh, Like I have an iron condor. Right now, I turned the bot off this week, but it's it's a trading bot. It does it for me every week. You know, and even in my video, someone said, oh, that's a bot that trades off volatility. 
It's definitely not. It's a bot that trades off efficiency. There's a huge difference. And right now, we're not showing off efficiency. That's why I turned it off this week, because we're starting to unravel. Uh, but you won't know these things if you don't know what options actually are. There is just options. W there's uh, Let me put it this way. There's no way you make it in this market with any, like, you might as well pull the Dave Ramsey approach and just buy SPY, you know, the just buy some index funds. Uh, you know, over time, you dollar cost average, you'll make it. Listen to Graham Stephan. The guy's paralyzed to make a dollar or any kind of volatility. But there's some truth into dollar cost averaging uh, across indexes. Like, if one thing history has taught us, even in a lost decade, you might not make anything for 10 years, but the next five will be all right. Uh, I don't know how you're not going to be, I don't know how you're going to be in this market and not be in options. But I know how quickly you can exit this market if you don't know options. First, first of all, um, so level one options, you'll hear about a approval. Uh, level one, you can sell covered calls. You can mess your account up even on that. It might sound simple. You got to own 100 shares of something, and we'll jump back into the options chain. Uh, what's this, Google? All right, so let's go to July, the monthlies, weekly, sorry. Uh, July 22nd, you got 100 shares of Google because daddy gave you money. Uh, but let's say you bought 100 shares of Google because you don't know anything. Because I've seen stuff like this happen. Your average cost is 2300 on 100 shares. Daddy gave you a lot of money. <laughs> now, someone tells you, oh, sell a covered call. You sell a contract against your shares. Uh, but you got to sell it above the, uh, above the price. You know, sell an out-of-the-money contract. Uh, so you do. Uh, now, a popular one probably be all right. You would sell the, um, the 30 Deltas. Maybe they taught you that, but... You'd collect 50 bucks uh, times 100, so you'd actually collect $5,000, right? Yeah. So probably wouldn't be bad. You'd probably skate away with that, but it has to be above your your strike. Your average cost 2,300. Let's say you bought Google a little bit ago. Let's say you're not a trader. You know nothing about it. You suck. Your only experience is AMC, GME. Uh, you're very efficient at saying market manipulation it sold off gotta be manipulated oh man that moved not in my favor manipulation if that's the extent of your experience you're just brand new you're not stupid but you're very ignorant to the real world of how things actually work um, so let's say you bought google just a little bit ago uh in, in your average average cost here 2400 a little bit better example because 2400 someone tells you to sell the 30 deltas you're good so you sell a strike at 2370 and then it pushes up you will have locked in a loss uh, because you have no idea what you're doing you're going to sell your shares at 2370 you're going to collect a little bit that that actually puts you just slightly in the green because it's 50 bucks per share and you're going to be down 30 bucks per share so you can make 20 bucks you don't even know that because you have no idea what you're looking at first of all you don't even know what deltas mean uh there's a million ways to do this wrong there's a few ways now I don't want to say a million ways to do it right, a million ways to do it wrong. There are so many strategies. <laughs> I'll call it options gymnastics. There's so many just webs you can spin in the options world. And if you truly understand just the ins and outs and how things work, you don't even need to know the option strategy. I don't even know. I don't need to know their names. They, everyone's got a weird name. Iron Condor, Jade Lizard. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. You don't need to know any of those names because uh, you just got to know, like, just how options are you know irons just calls and puts that's all butterflies just got one right in the middle i can look at that and tell you first of all it's just two spreads one closer to get one shares a strike one doesn't uh do you need to know the name no but while you're wasting all the time looking up the names and how it does you look at the options profit graph and you're wasting your time you need to understand what options actually are uh so i can't stress that enough these videos are supposed to be short and sweet yet yet here we are a little bit drug out um Anyway, I'll wrap it up here. But options are very important. I can't stress that enough and how important they're probably going to be going forward, especially for your investing accounts. Uh, but if you're going to do it, please do not Google or look up option strategies. Look up what options are. And until you can have an actual conversation of all the ins and outs of the Greeks, whether you think they're relevant or not, they are going to play out in some, some fashion. I promise. Um, so anyway, I'll wrap it up here. Hit the like and subscribe button. But my call to action for this video, comment down below. 
how long have you been trading options? Uh, and what's it been like for you? Just a quick synopsis. Awesome. Rocky in the beginning. Rocking now. Um, you know, let me know. Give me a quick one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.